improve the government's financial ability to equitably provide quality healthcare services to the public and reinforce St. Lucia's national security infrastructure, Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre, with the support of his cabinet of ministers, engineered the health and citizen security levy. We are saying to the people of St. Lucia, give a little in terms of, of the 2.5% levy on a limited amount of goods. Give a little for health and security. We are giving back also. The health and citizen security levy will be applied at a rate of 2.5% on the cost of a limited number of business services and imported goods. Food items and medical products are exempted and will not be affected by the levy. The revenue generated by the health and citizen security levy will give the government the financial latitude to secure the resources, equipment and tools needed to enhance the operational and tactical efficiency of St. Lucia's protective services. Mr. Speaker, we have bought 33 vehicles for the St. Lucia, for the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. 33! We've bought five motorcycles, Mr. Speaker. We've bought 150 ballistic vests, costing $461,000, Mr. Speaker. We've bought two sets of firearms and ammunition. One set costing $154,000, another set costing $215,000, firearms and ammunition. We've, we've spent already $246,000 on the regional security system to help us in our security issues. We are now in the process of recruiting 80 new recruits. We are now constructing the Grosile Police Headquarters. Prime Minister Pierre's government will also use the levy to fund health projects and expand access to healthcare services at lower costs to the St. Lucian public. The Labour Party took positive steps towards universal healthcare when we, we removed the fees for hypertension and diabetes. That's what we did, Mr. Speaker. And now we are back, Mr. Speaker. And, the, and universal healthcare, the process continues. We have removed for maternal and child care, all these services will be free, Mr. Speaker. And I want to make a point, Mr. Speaker, is that the removal, the, 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 the progress towards universal health care is not targeted at making any individual person or any group of persons worse off. They are targeted at improving the quality of health care by making it affordable, making it accessible, and a certain level of equality for all the population, Mr. Speaker. The health and citizen security levy is expected to annually generate at least 33 million EC dollars for the government of St. Lucia. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihanna Isidore.